name is Bart Simpson, and I am a certified troublemaker and a juvenile delinquent, and I'm also the main E. Ben. And the guy right behind me is Flash Sentry, Mr. Steal Your Waifu, and he is also the main E. Ben. Bada boom, better clear the room, cause the network is here. Now, a few weeks ago, some schmuck decided he didn't like what I had to say about his well-deserved title victory and made a challenge towards me. But there are more important people I need to address first. I'm not saving the best for last, more like getting the bigger deals done and dusted before we get onto the topic of the guy that nobody gives a damn about. Okay, let's run down this list for you. First up is an obvious one, Kurt Bale. The man who would be my opponent at Refuse to Lose in the worldwide title match. Fail. Go ahead and round up all those morons you call your fail leavers. Because come Refuse to Lose, I can't wait to see their stupid faces watching this fail Eve as I am announced the new worldwide champion. Okay. Going on with the list, next doofus is Danny Fan Dumb. The scrawny geek who's going to face my boy Bart in the ULW Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Look, Ghost Boy, it doesn't matter if you're a member of the most overrated faction in Kaw or a champion which the women's version completely outshines. When you step in the ring with the network, your ass is grass and we're mowing the lawn. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on to the last lousy loser on this list. Victor Wolf. Victor Wolf was the guy who made that challenge towards me, as I mentioned earlier. The guy who had that oh so amazing title victory at VGW 20. And now he wants to fight me merely for telling the truth. I mean, come on, we all know you took advantage of a weakened Mr. Bishop to win the VGW World title after Cake did all the work for you. Oh, oh, and here's the funny part. Mr. Bishop was done with his open challenge when you showed your stupid face up. And you wonder why you have quote-unquote detractors. Well, these detractors are some of the only smart people in this business of idiots. And not to mention, you think you can take on the whole world. I've seen your other little Google Plus posts, and I gotta say, you are one stupid motherfucker. Jason Shrevrell, or however the hell you say his name, had no claim to the world title, nor did he make a challenge towards you. He may have insinuated it, but he never outright said it. But like the egomaniac you are, you called him out for merely returning at VGW 20. And now he does have a claim to it, you Nimrod. If hell freezes over and you actually retain against Bishop at VGW Unleashed, then I pray to whatever entity is out there, whether it be God or Buddha or, I don't know, status quo, because he owns the company, whatever entity is out there that Jason creams your ass all over that ring and takes your precious ego down a notch or two and becomes VGW World's Heavyweight Champion. Oh wait, I hear you all you fans, you're still booing. You're not convinced? Not convinced? All right. Well, here's another one for you. Does the name Scott Harris ring a bell? It's that guy you said could be your protege, right, Victor? <laughs> well, I did a little digging and I've discovered he's been in BGW and wrestling way before you have. So what, Victor? You think just because he's in NXT and you're on the main roster as its godforsaken world champion that you're instantly this wise veteran that you know everything that you're better than everybody? News flash, no pun intended, not the case. All you have done since you became champion is brag and boast. And to be perfectly honest, I think we're all a little sick and tired of it, at least a smart 
You want to say you scratched and clawed at that title? <laughs> you wouldn't know the first thing about scratching and clawing your way to success. You want an example of a guy who has scratched and clawed to success? You've got two of them right here. And that ain't ego talking. That's the damn truth. The only reason you were shoved unceremoniously into the title picture is because all these crybaby fans were salty that Adam Watkins won the BGW Rumble and they all felt so sorry for you. Honestly, I think I'd prefer Adam being the champion right now than your sorry ass. So, it all comes down to this. You want a match with me? You want a match with me, Vicky? Well, too bad. Because you don't deserve it. Just like you don't deserve that VGW World title. You want to call me a flash in the pan? For you idiots out there who don't know what that means, a flash in the pan is a thing or person whose sudden but brief success is not repeated or repeatable. Well, given how many people have spoken out in your opposition, I'd say the only flash in the pan in Kaw is you, Victor. But me, I'm the flash of the future. Me and Bart are the hottest thing going on this or any mid-card. Oh, really? The hottest thing going on this or any mid-card? Do you forget who holds the mid-card money in the bank century? Oh yeah, I did. Because the bonehead who has it doesn't show his damn face around here. So much so, that we all thought he got released or some shit. Well, uh, how Today, Junior! Jeez, it's like talking to a four-year-old with a speech problem. You have done absolutely nothing with that damn thing since you won it. That would look and be used a lot better with me and El Barto. Oh, really? What well, how about your little buddy praises me at refuse to lose for my money in the bank? <laughs> You're so on, loser. Bart accepts. Ain't that right, bud? Um, uh, that's the spirit. <laughs> See, you're at refuse to lose at Bart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh it up, loser. You won't be when Bart here kicks your ass and takes that title shot from you and brings it home to the network. And to the lot of you we just called out, especially Victor Wolf, there's only one word to describe you, and I'm gonna spell it out for ya. L O S E R S Loser! Ah!